and here we are with Andy's 230 SL Pagoda Mercedes. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to start this car from scratch to show you how it ticks over. Being a classic car, you need to be very gentle with this, this type of vehicle. So let's take this car for a, we'll start her up, just so you can see what needs to be done. So firstly we'll put the, the key in, we'll just pump the gas three times, make sure the car is in park, handbrake on, okay let's turn her over, foot on the brake. Give her a bit of gas, okay she's stalled, just give her a starter up again. They're giving her some gas. Okay, now just having a look at my watch here. And we need to allow five minutes for the car to start. We cannot, this is not a modern car, you cannot just jump in and drive. You must let this girl warm up. Having a look at the temp gauge there, we can see she's cold. We've got reasonable oil pressure. It's a very, very important thing. The oil pressure is, 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 is jumping around. You want to investigate that before uh, you, you really want to turn the car off. Fuel, we've got a nice, about three quarters of a tank of fuel. Okay, let's just, let's go and have a look at the back exhaust pipe to see how she's behaving at the back there. So, very important when you've got the car purring over like this, the handbrake must be on, it must be in park, must not have any kids running around here at the moment, because very easily they could accidentally, uh, they could accidentally touch the the automatic transmission and put it into drive. So you've just got to be very, very careful. This is just standard safety procedures. We look at the exhaust pipe, she's blowing a little bit of water there, which is for an old classic, it's okay. We're not seeing a lot of smoke out of her because she's a pretty nice engine. So just, just having a look there, I just want to show you, you, you can see of course she, she is doing a bit of a, making a little bit of a mess on my, my driveway, which is, which is, which, which is quite okay. It's not a, I'm honoured to have a Mercedes making a mess on the driveway. So let's have a look there. We're ticking her over. <clears throat> Very nice note. We're just listening. Just have a quick look at the front of the car. We'll listen for any any noises, knocking. A slight, a slight cam or a tap it noise there, which I'm going to investigate. Nothing hugely serious. It's a very nice, nice note there. So there we go. <coughs> so there we go. Today I'm showing you a very, very special 230 SL. This belongs to a really good friend of mine, Andrew. If Andy's watching this, thanks very much for entrusting the car to my care. I want to just make this video to, to highlight this beautiful vehicle. Now firstly, this is a 230 SL, 1965 car this is. It's a Pagoda Roof Mercedes. It's called the Pagoda Roof because of this Pagoda part with the optional hardtop. The car is an Australian delivered car. It's got matching numbers, original engine, and I must say, it's in the most beautiful shade of blue. That's absolutely my dream color, and it's got a beautiful cream interior. Now, I'd also like to dedicate this, this clip here to all the public service uh, jobs I applied for. I'd like to dedicate this to all the selection criteria and job applications I filled out. And I'd like to tell the, the Education Department, the Emergency Services Department, the Treasury Office to go get fucked. Because this is exactly why I hate selection criteria. This Mercedes, it's anti-bureaucracy. Bureaucracy is white vanilla Hyundai, white vanilla Corolla, and I just want to say, go fuck yourself. And um, even though this Mercedes may not be mine, I have really cool friends who entrust luxury
luxury treasures to me and uh, for that I am very very thankful for. So let's have a look at this beautiful Mercedes. Absolutely stunning. Now I've actually washed this car when it first came in and I have then, I polished it last night. I used a Meguiar's wax, liquid liquid uh, wax, which was the, uh, the, the, the high-end gold class wax. And uh, I think it's come up beautifully. What I've tried to do is restore that nice uh, waxy finish to the paint. So that's all very nicely done. I went and saw a good friend of mine who was a, uh, a coach builder coach builder by trade, he was my boss at KBR, and uh, we've actually done a small repair on the real rear parcel shelf. This part here kept coming out, and we've glued it in place, and I've sticky taped it just to hold the glue whilst the glue sets, and hopefully we've, we've going to have fixed that, that minor trim problem. I've actually got a few things I'm trying to work on to, to fix, to make the car as best as possible. There we go. A beautiful Pagoda Mercedes. Andrew, thank you so much for entrusting this car to me. Uh, I will be delivering it to your father very, very soon. And uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for allowing me to, um, to, to drive and also thank you for allowing me to clean and, and wax and polish the car and, and fix a few minor flaws. It's, it's um, payment in itself is the pleasure I get from the smile on my face at five o'clock in the morning when I drove it around the block. That's, that's the payment for, for such a, a beautiful car. You can see why GQ magazine voted this the most beautiful car in the world. Thank you very much and please, I've got a few other clips where I'm actually driving the car around with the roof off. Please have a look at those clips and uh, please, please, Send me some feedback. Tell me what you think of the most beautiful car in the world. Here we are today in Andy's, e Andy's Mercedes 230 SL. I've just come back from a friend. I was going to say E-Type. He had a he had an E-Type 3.8 Jaguar many years ago. We've just been comparing the Mercedes to the Jaguar and uh, we're just we're just going now to pick up the the rego slip for the car so we're just going through going through Red Hill now and we're doing a bit of filming just to see what it's like to drive this car with the top off so we're just taking doing a bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of filming now and Barry Barry actually said the the engine note that's a Fuel injected engine though. Well, Here we this go. one. We're driving along. We just got to just got to merge nicely. You've got to drive very carefully in this car. Unfortunately, some people in this car don't give you time to get the speed up because it's not a it's not a modern car. It's a vintage car, and it takes a little bit of time to get the speed up. Here we go. We're just coming, coming into, coming into the city soon. Beautiful. You take a close up of the Vitek in there, uh, and there too. No, not not too close, but it, it, yeah, just because it, it doesn't auto focus. Oh, okay. Okay, you just can you add? Here's our second clip. Here we're just doing a bit more filming. We're in Andy's 230 SL. We've got the car in drive, which is number four on the trans auto transmission, and we're taking off from the lights. And here we go. We just just to leisurely take off. We don't want to ever push this engine. We want to be very generous to the motor. Never want to push an old motor. So we've got a beautiful roar of the of this Mercedes six coming through. It's a fuel injected six. It's coming through. Driving through nicely, so we see the lights are green. We just slow down just in case they change, and we accelerate out. And here we go, just very nicely. The brakes in this car are not as good as a modern car, even though they are disc brakes. They're not not as nice as a modern car. They're not. I don't believe they're ventilated. 
so it's not quite as, as good. It's also, it's, it's, it is a 45 year old car, so we want to be very kind to this car here. We don't want to be harsh or abrupt or rude to it. Here we go, we've got another kickhead who's just trying to prove his Fangio. Here we go, we're driving along. 